Hi guys! Oh my gosh, you missed me. I missed you. <laughs> I missed you guys so much. I miss being on camera. I miss filming for you, but yo, things have been crazy. I've been working nonstop. I was sick. I still have a bit of a cold. I'm getting over it. Um, bought myself some new things. You know, I'm 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 out here working. You know, so uh, I wanted to come back and do this look for you. So this look will be up. For St. Patrick's Day, so it'll be up very soon. Something green and sexy and super highlighted, as you can see. So that look will be up. But as you can tell from the title of this video, I'll be doing a makeup haul. I bought some stuff on Am not Amazon. <sighs> I bought some stuff on Nordstrom a decade ago, and it came in finally. And I was like, okay, I'm not gonna trouble anything until I can film and do like a proper, you know, like them old school hauls, you don't see those anymore. So I wanted to do um, one of those for you. I got a big box. Shit, I said it was 13 pounds. It's not that heavy. But yeah, I got a lot of stuff and things and things and stuff that I haven't tried and some repurchased, I can't talk anymore. Some repurchases that I wanted to share with you. So, um, for the most part, I haven't really used anything that I haven't used before because I wanted to do the haul before I jumped into anything. So, if you see anything in here that you want a review for, just let me know down in the comments and I definitely will do a review for you, first impressions, all that good stuff. So, no more rambling, jumping into the haul right now. So, I just use this in this makeup tutorial here on my face and this is the Mario Badescu skincare facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water it looks like this it's pink it's gorgeous it smells like roses rose petals so, um, I've hauled this before I love it I ran out of it it's only like seven dollars I got these stuff on Nordstrom and it's seven dollars so I really love this I would recommend you try it if you haven't it's so popular out there I'm sure you've tried it but affordable setting spray, use it as a primer, use it to just revive your face and if you want to feel nice, this is the spray. So I had to just repurchase that. Um, now I'm not going to go in any particular order. Some stuff for skincare, some stuff for makeup. So I'm just going to jump in. Um, this is a NARS Sugar Foundation. You guys, if you're into makeup, you've probably heard of this, probably seen this. This became popular years ago, I think, when it was um, Rihanna's makeup artist who said this is what she uses. I never got around to trying it, but I was like, you know what, I'm looking for a new foundation anyway. Might as well try it. I've heard nothing but good reviews from it. So I got mine in the shade Dark 4, which is Car Tom, something like that. This is what it looks like. It's so high-end, it's so pretty. It looks like my shade. Um, I haven't swatched it, I haven't done anything. So if you want to see like a first impressions on this or how it applies, you know, for a woman of color or anything like that, just let me know down in the comments. I'm sure there are tons and tons of videos of this online for for years and years back. But if you want to see this, just let me know. Alright, what we have. Okay, this is a repurchase. I'm like so excited, I'm dropping things. This is the Anastasia um, Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. This is just a skinny brow pencil. I actually bought two of these, but as soon as I got it in the mail, I had to bust one open. That sounds wrong. But I had to open one because I had completely run out of eyebrow pencil. Stupidly, I went to the drugstore thinking, let me just get a regular, you know, like a brown drugstore eyebrow pencil to use. And I was miserable because it does not feel the same. My fiance thinks I'm crazy that I'm spending over 20 bucks just for a brow product, but I that's a play in passing. But I cannot live without this, so I had to just get two for backup. I think one lasts me about two months. I mean I use it quite religiously. So yeah, that's that. Um let's see if there's um, any other repurchases. Okay, let's go into this one. This is a set. Obviously everything here I bought on Nordstrom. This is the Stila um, Morning to Moonlight Waterproof Eyeliner Trio. I was looking for just another, ooh, that's bright, it's the gold packaging. I was just looking for another um, 
liquid liner, still a liquid liner, and this is actually a full size. And I only spent 35 US for this, so I kind of just got a black Stila eyeliner and a brown one for like six dollars each, which is kind of cool. Um, I trusted the brand because everything that Stila does is fantastic. I've never had a bad product from them. So, and I also got a full um, liquid liner out of it, so why not? I've never used the Stila pencil liners before. Let me just. Ooh, ooh, this is, this is not a brown. This is in the shade Lionfish, but uh, you can't see that in there. Uh, you can't see it, but it's a coppery, ooh, blends nice too. It almost has bits of shimmer in there, you can see it on my finger. Um, the black one, blue, there's a black. Pretty smooth, you guys. It came off so easy, and it's a retractable pencil, which I love. I hate sharpening eye eyeliners. So, yeah, I'll definitely be trying these out and letting you know what I think of them. But the black is so creamy. It looks so cute. I'll definitely be getting a lot of use out of that. My smile lines are ridiculous. Look at that. I smile so often. Nothing for me to get rid of those. <clears throat> Ooh, I'm losing my voice. All right, moving on. Are there any more repurchases? No, I don't think so. So let's go. Um, I got two matte lip liners. I've had two in the past. I only have two in the past, so I'm just slowly building up my collection. And these are shades that every dark skin girl should have. I've heard so much about them. This is in the shade Beat. And this is in the shade Chestnut. I'm sure every dark skin girl has heard about the shade. I'm not gonna swatch them or anything because it's hard to swatch like the liners in my hand. But um, I've heard really good reviews about these. I've never tried them. I will be using them in the future and letting you know what I think of them. Oh, there's another repurchase. My bad. There's um, the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Dark Cafe. This concealer is so freaking good, you guys. It's so good. Did I show you the packaging? Yeah. But it's so good. Um, it's creamy, like the claims say. It runs out so fast for me because I use a ridiculous amount of concealer. But when I first got it, I was like, you know, I don't like this. But then I was forced to like it. So it's now one of my favorites. Um, sticking with the NARS theme, I got my first ever NARS blush in this shade. Seduction. I ordered one more, but it didn't arrive with the rest because I think it was a bit back ordered. So that one should be coming soon. Ooh. The packaging just looks so sleek and fancy. It even feels like velvety. Ridiculous. Comes with a mirror, so I won't blind you per se. And that is the shade right there. I haven't touched it, I haven't swatched it, so. Ooh, it's so clean. You see that on my hand? This is perfect for dark skin girls. Mm. I can tell them to love this. So that's the NARS, um, just called NARS blush, nothing fancy. That's gonna get dirty. All right, let's go on to another concealer that I got. This is the Naked Skin Concealer from Urban Decay. I've never tried this, you guys. This was popular years ago, too. Everyone said it was their favorite before the sharp, um, the shape tape came out, whatever. Um, this is it. I got mine in the shade Dark Warm. Yes, it does look a bit light for me, but when I hold it up next to the... Um, NARS one, it kind of looks just about the same, so I'm pretty sure I can make it work for that ultra bright highlighted on their eye thing going. So I'll definitely be trying to sell and let you guys know what I think. Um, let me just organize this thing right here so I know what I'm showing you guys already. There's samples in here too, like I got some MAC um, natural radiance samples and some cute stuff like that. 
Anyways, I know I ramble a lot, so moving on. This is the Murad Time Release Acne Cleanser, and it's white as hell, so the camera is kind of washing it out. But this is it right here, really good size. You get 6.75 fluid ounces. Um, it says it provides up to eight hours of continuous acne control, but balances hydration to diminish the visible signs of aging. So I've heard really good reviews about this product, so I picked it up because I wanted to try it. I mean, I need an acne cleanser, I need just a regular cleanser, and this cleanses and tones. So yeah, I can't wait. I'm gonna use that today. Tonight, no problem. All right, another thing that was raved about on like Snapchat and everywhere else is this product right here. Like all my products are white, so they get washed up. What am I doing? I need to change my camera settings. I'll probably do like a a B roll and do like a close up so you guys can see these a lot better. But this is the Q's clearly. No, it's not. This is the Q's creamy eye treatment with avocado. I've heard. Amazing things about this. I've never really used an eye cream other than the MAC Fast Response. So I wanted to try this and it's green. It smells delicious. You still can't see shit. So I'll do a close up of that one for you. But yeah, I'm really excited to try this. Um, like Orpha on Snapchat, she's like the best makeup artist ever, she uses this religiously. So I'm gonna try that and let you know what I think. Uh, do you guys notice my busted nail or not? My nails are like terrible right now. I need to get them filled. It's been like almost three weeks and I hit this one really hard so I had to take off the acrylic just to kind of not kill myself. But yeah, anyways, moving on. Oh shoot, there's another repurchase right here. I'm all over the place, you guys. <sighs> I apologize, just get my shit together. This is Laura Mercier Loose. Setting powder. This is like my millionth bottle of this. Beautiful product. I don't know what else to say. If you're looking for a good setting powder, this is it. I've gone through so many of these. Oop, there's a little sample in here also for the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. So I'll give that a try. But not much to say about this except it's the best setting powder that I've ever used in my life. So if you haven't tried it yet, I don't know what's stopping you, but give it a try. It's so, so, so worth it. All right, moving on. This is a mascara. This packaging better show up good. This is the YSL Baby Doll Lash Mascara. Um, like Again, this is another one, like a very popular mascara. Everybody talks about it. I've never tried it, but I've seen it on YouTube and everywhere else. So I wanted to get my own. Oh, look at the packaging of this. The packaging is so, so beautiful. I haven't even opened it yet, but I will be using it and let you know. Maybe do like a first impression, but my eyelashes, my real eyelashes, are non-existent. They're not super short, but they curl upwards, so you can't really see them. Don't like that. And my lower lashes, boy, they they right away. So I'll let you know how this mascara, this baby doll lash mascara, works out for me. All right, going into another hyped product, which is also white, so you probably won't be able to see it. This is the Bobbi Brown Vitamin and Rich Face Base. So on the box it says Shea Butter, Vitamin C, and E. I'm so excited to try this. Just open it up. And bam. This is what it looks like. I plan on using this as a moisturizer slash Primer. I haven't opened it yet, so I will open it and use it. And the bottle is so fancy, it feels so nice. There's like even a detailing for the Bobbi Brown sign on the cover. I will be using it both ways as a moisturizer, then a primer on top, or just using this as a moisturizer and primer, and then going right in with my foundation. So I don't know if you guys can tell. I'm so excited to finally hold these for you so I can use them all because it's been forever, like I said. Alright, let's keep it moving. This is the Urban Decay Chill Cooling and Hydrating Makeup Setting Spray. You've probably seen this too. There's about three of them. Like there's the all-nighter uh, locket and something else. 
but this is the chill one Jacqueline Hill raves about this so I never tried it I always was using just the Mac fix plus but I wanted it. for some reason I was like on a setting spray kick when I made this order so I got a lot of sprays and stuff like that so this is what it looks like yep that's my bathroom flushing because I'm right next door and Jack is in the loo but anyways this is the um, chill makeup setting spray right here can't wait to try it yeah. All right, let me show you another setting spray. This is one of the things that I was most excited to receive. This is the Herbivore Rose Hibiscus. Okay, now this is another white package, so it's gonna look washed out again. But on the box, it says coconut water hydrating face mist. And on the back, I mean, this packaging is so cute. I really like that sleek packaging. Um, it tells you what it has and what are the benefits for each ingredient. It's like all natural, so it's coconut water, hibiscus flower extract, rose water, and then it gives you the directions. The directions are kind of weird, so I'm not going to follow them. I'm just going to use it as a primer and try it out as a setting spray and see how it works. Now, this product is so beautiful. Again, the packaging is white, um, but the product itself is pink and it's in a glass bottle. I'm actually going to spray it now and just see. Ah, the mist is not, the mist is not super fine. To be quite honest, to be quite honest, it smells like um, a watered down version of the Mario Badescu. This one the fragrance is way better on the Mario Bonescu. This one, I guess it's because it's all natural. They didn't go crazy with the fragrance. So, it's nice. I'll let you know what I think of it. It smells like a baby. You know, like a really powdery smell of like a baby powder. That is what it reminds me of. Again, I'll let you know what I think. Alright, we're getting to the end. There's only three products left, so we can do this. All right, this, let me save that one later. This one is the Caudalie Vinyl Source Rich, Rich. Don't know how to say that, but it's just a moisturizer. A very um, expensive, but uh, fancy moisturizer. Um, a lot of girls have been into this one. They use the, I've seen the Sorbet one, which is a lighter pink package going around. Well, this is what this one looked like. And this one is for the intense, intense hydration and moisture which you can't go you can't go wrong with I always need so let's bust this open cap is still on I'm all I'm a sucker for um moisturizers especially ones that claim you know they're for really really dry skin because I got that all right I pumped a little bit out it's very thick it's almost like it can fit in a jar, that's how thick it is. Mm. It does smell very therapeutic. It does smell like the grape seed extract thing. It's probably in here. I might have read it on here somewhere. But it does look like on the packaging, it does have like the grapes kind of thing. Oh, it smells nice though for a moisturizer. I would probably use this. Not in the day though, because it's not light. More for the evening when you want that to lock in that extra moisture. That is when I would use this, but I'm very excited. All good reviews I've seen for this, so that's why I picked it up. All right, another thing that I was super, super excited to finally try is the Mariah Rapid Age Spa and Pigment Lightning Serum. This is what it looks like. And on the box it says 85% so spot lightening spots light in in just one week and it says it helps prevent the development of new pigmentation that is what that looks like let's bust this baby open and there you go this is what it looks like it comes with a nice little pump it's clear so you can see how much product you're using i really like that i like Murad products so i got the face wash to use and then i got the dark spot um treatment See, I've heard good things, especially from dark skin girls, saying that it doesn't really bleach their skin. It does help with light 
discoloration, which I do have. I don't really have any like bad hyperpigmentation. I just have like a few leftover like acne spots on my cheeks that I want to get rid of. So I'll definitely be using that and let you know in a few weeks' time if I'm seeing any difference or not. Last product, you guys. This is what I was most excited for. I got this whole purchase just for this one thing. Yes. And this is the White SL Gel Fluid Universal. <laughs> what am I saying? No, this is the Blurry and Illuminating Primer. That's what it looks like. Packaging is gold. I just love um, the packaging. It's so pretty. Yeah. Yes, it. Can you see that, babe? I don't know what I'm calling you, babe, but I'm just so excited. Touche Eclat Blur Primer. You know, French woman, but that's what it says. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. I spent like 50 something dollars on this. It's my better work, but um, it was either this or the Guerlain one, and I didn't want to spend $70 on it with them. Primer, so I was like, let's get this one. This one looks pretty. If it don't work, I'll just put it on my display and it's worth it because I'm all about packaging. Ooh, that cover came off super easy. Comes with a nice pump. Let me just pump out a little bit. I'm running out of space on my hand. I'll pump it a few times. Something's coming. Oh, there you go. So it has all oh, oh, those gold flecks. So pretty. I'm just rubbing it on my hand there. It feels very not silicone, almost oily. But now I can feel a bit of the silicone. I can feel it smoothing out my skin and it's also giving it just a little bit of growth from those really small glitter particles. Ooh. See where I applied it? It smells like heaven, it smells like flowers, but not overpowering, just nice flowers. Ooh. Okay, I'm liking this. It smell. Like, can all products just smell like this? It's so nice. It's so, it, it smells so high end. All right. I've been rubbing in it for a while. Um, it feels nice. My arms are ashy, forgive me, but it feels really smooth. I feel like it could be a poor filler. Let me read what the box, I probably can't read shit on the box. Okay, I found an English one. It says an ideal, an ideal complexion instantly eliminated. Pores visibly appear diminished. See, I, I forgot there was that pore thing. Skin texture is smooth and skin luminosity is boosted. Woo, I see that. I definitely see that. Anyways, applied onto, applied onto your foundation to maximize radiance or worn alone to create a perfect canvas. Wow. And it says it's suitable for all skin types and all of that good stuff. So I definitely feel the skin smoothing. I definitely feel the pore filling, but it doesn't feel like super silicone-y. It almost feels like an oil, like a, if it was white, you'd think it's a cream. You know what I mean? So that's the um, blur primer. I'm not going to use it at first word. And um, yeah, guys, we're at the end. I'm proud of myself for not using the majority I'm proud of myself for not using the majority of these products before I got a chance to haul them for you. Um, so excited to try these. Again, just leave in the comments anything that you want me to go into more detail, anything that you want like a first review, like a first impressions, all of that. There's nothing in here to swatch really, but I will be doing a swatch video soon for a brand because I just made a big order. So look for look. Look out for that. Um, I'm a mess today, but it's okay. 
my voice is coming and going because I still have this cold and I have a gig tonight where I'm singing my ass off with a cold, but no problem. But I missed you guys. So happy to be back. I'm ready for St. Patrick's Day. See, my background is like all green. I'm getting my shit together. Monday morning, I'm going to go get my nails fixed, and wash my hair and all that good stuff. But yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Leave me some love down in the comments. Some hate if you want, I don't care. But um, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with a friend. Let me know in the comments what you want to see next. Any info we want, just ask me and I'll give it to you. And I'll see you guys very, very soon. Bye, out. I'll show you this highlight one last time. Because I'm not mean, I like to share. <laughs> Bye, guys.